Hello and welcome to the Burst How To series. In this episode, I will go through the different formatting options we have available for dashboards. If you are new to business intelligence and analytics, dashboards are collections of graphical representations of key performance indicators and numerical information. In Burst, you have a list of elements you can add to a dashboard and then the formatting options for those elements. You can change colors, define borders, choose fonts, alignment, title and legend placement, and more. Let's start with the options available for the dashboard canvas. You need to be in edit mode to be able to work on your dashboard. Here we have a button for dashboard design. You can toggle the dashboard title on and off. Same thing with the filter card. Please note that if you want to hide just one particular filter, you do that from the advanced options of the filter. If you don't know how to lay out your dashboard, you can choose one of the options here as a starting point. And lastly, you can customize the dashboard background either with a color or an image. You can upload an image into the report catalog from admin, or you can access one in an HTTPS location. When you add an image, its property options appear. You have the option to stretch the image, keep the ratio of the same, repeat the image, or change the opacity of the image. You can also set the tab order for each dashboard. This is an accessibility feature designed to make using keyboard navigation easier. To see the element on the dashboard, click the eye icon and the element is highlighted. To change the order of the elements, you can use the up and down arrows or grab the handle and move the element up and down the list. Click Publish to save your changes. To revert to the default order, click the reset icon. On the dashboard, let's take a look at the KPI dashlet first. Note that you can modify several dashlets at the same time by holding the control button and selecting the desired dashlets. On a Mac, it is the command button. The basic formatting settings are the same for all the dashlets. First, you have the layering options, including bring to front and send to back. You can also align the dashlets. You can change the color of the dashlet background and the border, the border radius and thickness, padding and shadow. If you have the dashlet title in use, like here, you will have the option to choose the font face, size, color, alignment, and make the text bold and or italic. You also have the possibility of configuring the position and padding for the title. Let me show you how. I'm going to move the title to the left and add a little bit of padding to it. For KPIs only, you have the options for the size of your KPI measure and title text. The fonts inside KPIs are responsive, meaning that the font size increases or decreases according to the size of the browser window or tablet screen and the length of your title, sometimes also the length of your measure. When you have multiple KPIs, this can result in inconsistent font sizing. If you prefer to keep the font sizes consistent, even as the dashboard or dashlet dimensions change, use the Make Font Sizes Consistent option. The first KPI has that option toggled off, as it is sized differently than the other three KPIs. All of them have the option on. You then have the option to change the ratio of title and the actual KPI. If I minimize the title, the measure or the value will become larger for all three KPIs at the same time because of the consistent sizing option. For charts and maps, the formatting options change slightly according to the type of chart you have. The basics are the same for all. Bring front, send back, alignment, the color of the dashlets and the border, border radius, thickness, padding and shadow. If the title is Enabled for the dashlet, you also have the options for the title. For charts, additionally, you have the option to change the display style. Standard is the default, and it takes a chart as it has been defined in Visualizer. There's a brief explanation in all of the options about how they work. I'll show you the minimal. 
Applying that, you can see that all the additional information disappears. There are no axes, the legend is gone, and the text from the actual bars also disappears. The legend options are available for all chart types. For tables and cross tabs, you have only the basic formatting options. For embedded filters or prompts, the basic settings are, are there, but you can also choose the layout for the filter. There's basically two options, drop down or list. Auto will change the layout based on the sizing of the prompt dashlet. Best practice for dashboards is always the ease of use. And for prompts, it means as few clicks as possible. If your list is only a few items, use a list. If your list does not fit the filter window, meaning that it requires scrolling, use the drop down. For embedded filters, you can also format the text separately for the title and the filter body. For image, website and HTML dashlets, the formatting options are the same. For the third-party charts, the colors and fonts are fully controlled by the HTML code. Text has the same basic options as all the other dashlets. If you click the text and go to edit, you can then choose the font face, size, color of the text and the background, make the text italic or bold, and align the text. Button has the text options available in the top bar. Once you have all your formatting set up correctly, you can duplicate the dashlet on the dashboard with its formatting, and then just change the contents rather than having to do it all from scratch. In this example, I've duplicated the trend chart dashlet and now I can modify it as needed. When working with KPIs, you work on them with the KPI builder. However, for reports, you click on the dashlet, go to edit, then properties, and then simply navigate to the item you want to display in the dashlet. As you can see here, the formatting is already applied. There's no data on the bars, no title, and the legend is positioned at the top, using the same formatting as the original item. Those were the formatting options for dashboards in Burst. Thank you for watching.